get fitted. Be walking around in the right bra. Hi travellers, I'm Anne's daughter Lalika and welcome to Anne's living room. So if you haven't seen my previous video, a review of buying merino underwear, then please check that out. I went out to get some new bras. So ladies, apparently a lot of us walk around in the wrong size bra, so it is really important to go and get fitted. I think that's really the main takeaway. <laughs> go and get measured. It's not embarrassing. They do it every day. They've seen boobs <laughs> in all shapes and sizes on all sorts of different people. So I'm home now in New Zealand and I'm restocking so that I'm ready for my next adventure and because I choose to live and work abroad then I find it more comfortable because also I know the sizing here and the stores and so it's easier to go shopping here, sort of restock on these quite boring items. I mean I never ever thought I'd be doing a video on bra shopping but <laughs> here we are. It's an essential. So I also wanted to speak about it because as a traveller I don't have small boobs. I used to shop at Bendon and that also means that then Bendon Outlet's an option which is great in New Zealand and Australia because they really do have some good sales from time to time and being able to shop online is cool. Uh, yesterday I went to the fitting room which I've never done before. There's two locations in Christchurch and I will definitely be going back there. In New Zealand there aren't that many options for those of us with bigger boobs. There really are not. That's what I discovered. I got sized uh, three weeks ago now and bend on and it can, comes out that there's two bras in the whole country that will fit. And both of them are horrendously ugly. <laughs> so I'm just like, ah, can't help you if you have small boobs. Because I know that it's really, you really want like non underwire and you want something that's really small and compact. I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous if that's the case. You're so lucky that you can have all the choices. And I know jealousy is not an attractive feature. <laughs> But it's more that you get choices and it takes up less room in your luggage as opposed to this which I will now have to put in. Okay, let me pack it down. This is the size of the packaging that I bought yesterday that I need to fit into my luggage. Okay, I'm going to be wearing one of them. But that's not fun and it doesn't make it easy but I know that there's more people out there like me. The fitting room, it's more expensive. Apparently you should wash with a mild detergent. They gave me a little thing and you should hand wash your bras which I've never done. I usually chuck them in a bra bag. Wash at 30 degrees or less this is in Celsius, <laughs> on a delicate cycle in a wash bag. Do up any hooks and clasps to prevent them catching. But don't use fabric softener don't tumble dry. So for those of you Americans that seem to throw everything in the dryer, interesting. Lovely, lovely lady Megan that served me and she was so wonderful. So wonderful. I had so many silly questions. You can go to a department store or something to get fitted and they do. They're also super helpful there. I have done that before at like Farmers, David Jones, Maya. <laughs> Over the years just wherever I am the Senza to get fitted. These are imported bras, so of course they cost more. Now I want to go to the UK and buy them, or at least look on a UK website and just buy them myself, see how much cheaper they are. I wish I was one of those people that had like six different bras, but I really don't. I've stood in the dressing room, jiggled about, done a little modeling show for myself. I did actually send a couple of pictures to some girlfriends. So I bought two yesterday and as you can see there is quite a lot of material so that's why this is definitely not for travellers with smaller boobs because I have a large bust and I need a lot of support. So these are the Lomi brand which is a British brand. You know it's very hard to go minimal because there's kind of a lot of material so it's hard to minimize on these things so that makes three bras in my current rotation because that's two new ones plus the one that i'm already wearing i don't know how you can minimize it for travel as a big breasted woman i really don't know they can only roll down so far because and yet yeah, as you can see there's no padding in these at all i really don't need padding but i mean how much smaller can I get them? These fit really well and 
it feels good having a professional really check over now like the straps have been tightened to where I need them like really really lovely so I feel very ready <laughs> at least in the brow department and the underwear department <laughs> ready to go. If you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing as I post new videos every week giving tips and strategies that may help enhance your travel experiences. Let's get these in the suitcase. Definitely taking this. I can see its usefulness as a bra bag and it definitely fits the right sizing but I think for me I'm going to use this as a shoe bag.